What's up, guys? Power GPU here. Um, as you guys all know, uh, tonight is when the AMD 6970 comes out and the 6950. Um, I've already gone and seen some benchmarks already of it, um, and I've uh, compared it to my GTX 570 that I just got yesterday. Um, let's go ahead and run a benchmark real quick on Unigen Heaven. Um, all the reviewers did DX11. Um, they did Extreme Tessellation. Anti-strophic times 16 and anti-aliasing times 4, and they ran at 1920 by 1080. All right, so let's go ahead and run this test, and let's see what the results are at the end. So as you can guys see, um, if you go online, if you go to my website, PowerGPU.com, it'll be under the front page. Um, it shows you here what the AMD 6970 did in 3D Mark Vantage. Um, it did 23,499. Um, it did 36.6 .6 frames per second on Unigen Heaven with these same exact specifications I ran. I averaged 33. This was all at stock settings, by the way. Um, let's go ahead and head over to... Um, 3D Mark because I did run a 3D Mark Vantage as well. I just didn't do a video on it. Um, oh, whoops, wrong one. Let's go here real quick. Let's close these five rides out. Let's close that out. Oh, come on, what is this doing? All right. So as you can see, under let's go under here real quick and let's go for let's go here. Results. There we go. That's 3dmark.com slash results. That's what it was. I put 3dmark11. Whoops. Alright, so let's go under. You can see so 480, 68, 50, 57, 70. So we're not looking at that though. Let's go to Vantage. Um, and let's look right here. Details. Um, so you guys can see here. This is uh, with the Intel Core i7 960 stock at 3.2. Uh, with the GTX 570 stock as well, not with one card. Um, I scored 22,619, um, while the 6970 scored 23,499. Um, so it's not a big jump, not a big difference, um, but again, I mean, it is a good, it is a good card for the price. Um, I'm still leaning towards the GTX 570 to do three of those, um, so let me know again, guys, in the comments, and please subscribe. All right, PowerGPU signing out.